Well, this is the uh, Magneto off that, uh, I guess, oh, that's the AEH model, Wisconsin out there, and that's a Edison Magneto. I've never actually seen one of them or anything, and I, it doesn't seem to have any fire, so obviously we're going to have a look at this, and uh, I'm assuming the points are back under here because the coils up on top, obviously, because it's got the, uh, for the you know, where the spark plug uh, cable goes. So we'll take a look at it here and see what's going on. I get lined out here. I gotta find my screwdriver and everything. Right, right, we'll back a little bit. Uncap this thing here. Where one screw looks like it broke off in there. So let's see what. I might have get a bit when it took to come loose there. The bigger screwdriver bit looks like. It might be a crusty mess in here, but I really don't know them other others wasn't. But you never know, there's always a first time in there. There you go. Like I said, I've never heard of an Edison Magneto before. You know, you got your Wicos or Wico, however they want to pronounce it. They're based Mars and some of the most popular ones. But, uh, there we go. Yeah. There we go, it come off all right. Alright, let's see. Okay, here we go. Yes. Yep, there's the points in there. Let's see where the light is. Oh, shoot. Get the light down here. And I, obviously, it says they're uh, set to points 15,000. I imagine they're scuzzed up, you know. Usually, anything sets very long gets that way, so. And so it's got a little gasket on there, which is not perfect because I can make one of them, though, if I need be. And the points comes out pretty reasonable easy. Although I've never exactly seen one like this. So I guess I'll get busy and uh, I'm going to take them out because that's the easiest way to to, uh, to clean them up. You know. So let's see, all this thing here looks like it is just the it's just the uh, felt with a little bit of lube on it. It just screws in there. And I suppose, first off, I've got to get that out of there. And uh, it might be that just slips right off, and then you got two screws right here. That may be how that works. So. Okay, so I'm going to, let's see how we can do that here. Let's see what we got. I don't really have any delicate tools for that. Let's see, though. Well, if you take a... Yeah. No, they, there's no access hole here, but a screw in there. So, uh, well, let's see what we're going to do here. Got to find a small pair of pliers or something to get in here and take that off. Cause I don't have no little wrenches in here. And uh, there's much clutter here on my table. I don't know who can make a big mess over here like that. Being I'm the only one sitting here, I suppose it may be me. All right, well, I may have to go out and get a a little wrench to fit that thing or something here, so we'll get back in a minute. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I got that little nut off. This one here is the uh, kill wire that runs over to the over here where you can ground it. And this other one is a I guess it goes to the coil, the one behind here. And uh, get it off. And uh, let's see the uh, condenser tucked right there. I don't know if I can slip that thing back off of there. Yeah, like that. And maybe this will just come right up like that, which is, that's the one, one part of the point. Let's see here. And you can see it, it's kind of, it almost looks to me like it's actually burnt. Well, it is. But uh, we'll try to rectify that little problem. And yeah, let's see if we can get the, See what I here it is. We'll go ahead and try to get these uh, this bottom part of the points out here. <coughs> that come out pretty good. Okay, there's that. I'll tell you what, it's so hot out in that shed. It's 92 degrees outside here today. And I started cleaning up out there in my shop and <coughs> gotta get a different screwdriver. It's not to burn up so. Luckily, my wife is not too much of an old grouch, so I get to come in here. 
bring my stuff in here and uh, tinker with it. So that's one good thing. Let's see if this will get any better grip on there. Oh yeah, much better. Yeah, there you go. Okay. This is an obsolete. I've never seen a set of points like this. You guys probably can't see anything here. I got my camera all bone flustered, but anyway, that's, uh, that's the way that looks inside. So now, now. Yeah, that's pretty bad, but we're going to get that squared away here in a minute. Okay, so now, let me uh, get my trusty Moto tool out here and we'll see what we Okie dokie. Well, let's see if we can clean these up. I hope I got the Camry sitting where you can see. It's a pretty big, uh, it's been run a long time on these points. It's a pretty big burnt spot in there, so. Take a little to put this back where it belongs. Take a while to get that high spot down. It's starting to warm up. Let's see what I'm doing with this other one here. I don't want to take that on and get into that metal and keep from it. It almost looks like it's about as high as that point is. Let's see. I'm almost thinking that I got that as good as it's going to get. It's still high on this one side, but. I will say one thing, them points are hard. They're not like most of your regular Briggs points or anything else. You can have them ground some down to another, but now. This man's got to be some more dead. I may have to cut part of this off. I uh, might have to edit part of this off. Now, this, I'm sure that's just, just on the borderline of being boring. It's not for it. Yeah, these are maybe some of the most worn points I've ever seen. It'll work, but it's certainly not as good as it could. Okay, I think that's going to be as good as we're going to get them. I'm going to go ahead and put them back together. We'll get back at it later. I got her back together, and uh, there's a little spark plug it, and i Oh, I'm tired today. Ain't nothing to brag over. And of course, the wire's even worse. So we'll see if I can proceed to shock myself if it works at all here. This thing up here. Uh -oh. Where we are. Yes, I guess it was. Yeah. The only thing metal's that. Yeah. Ain't that weird? Oh, there's a little bit of metal here. Let's see what happens here. Again. Uh, ground down there. No. It can't really turn this one. It's worse than them others. Again, come over. Yep, yep, there was a spark. It's good enough. I did see it. I don't know if you saw it or not, but there's one there. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Okay. Now, that ought to run the thing, but uh, a little unfortunate problem was when I took this plug out, where well, the threads came out with it, I had aluminum head, so. I gotta see about getting heel, somebody heel call it for me or something. All right, let's get to this. We found out the thing does work. Take care.